all right hi friends so i'm trying to do a video where i'm going to be showing you guys my hair reverting back um to being curly so yeah i don't know why i'm acting so weird about this i've never done anything hair related before this is different for me um sorry see your reflection yeah i've never done anything hair related before um, I should have done a video when I was getting my hair straightened, but I didn't. So I'm going to try to do one of my hair reverting back. So I think what I'm going to start off doing is a hair mask. I think I'm going to do a hair mask first, and then I'm going to wash the hair mask out with shampooing and conditioning, and then go from there. The whole purpose of this is just to see the hair revert, like if it completely reverts back, which it should. So I only put heat on it one time. I didn't go back with any heat on it. And it's been straight for like three weeks now. About three weeks. So yeah, hold on. Okay, so this is the hair mask that I want to use. I've had this for a few months now, but I've never actually used it. So I want to try it out today. But in the directions, it's telling me that I should actually... I have to shampoo first. Then apply this. And then wash it off and condition it. So I guess we're going to start off by shampooing. This is the shampoo that I've been using lately. This is the Whole Blends Nourishing Shampoo. Um, this is the Avocado Oil and Shea Butter one. It's also Deeply Replenish and Restore. So this is what I will be using. And then after I do that, I'm going to try to put this in. This is supposed to help revive and nourish dry and damaged hair. It helps rebuild strength and restore elasticity. Yeah, and it's supposed to leave the hair looking healthy and shiny and it apparently can be used on all hair types. So we'll see about this. And then after that, this is the conditioner that I have been using most out. The OGX Coconut Water Conditioner. Yeah, so this is the plan. So I guess I'm going to shampoo first. All right, moment of truth. I'm going to wash in the sink. I was going to do a shower thing, but later on, after I do the hair mask, I'm going to have to condition. So I'm just going to wash in the sink. Whenever my mom does my hair, she usually washes it in the sink. Usually the sink in the kitchen, but I'm going to just do the bathroom sink. It was just clean this past weekend, so like it's fine. vlog type thing yeah like a hair vlog video because i keep going back and forth with my phone and my camera this is not easy i see why i don't really do hair videos but i have my microfiber towel on um i'm about to apply the hair mask so far it looks like my hair has completely reverted i, I wasn't i was just worried i don't think i really doubted it i made some foolish mistakes the last time I treated my hair uh, three years three years ago um, that I made sure not to make this time around and she looks 
straight up reverted. This is a little bit of shedding that I got just from washing my hair, not even detangling, just from washing it. And this is all curly hair, like not a single straight strand, which is cool. Try to detangling, detangling it with the um, hair mask. Then I'm gonna put the shower cap on. Alrighty, so I'm gonna take this off now. I'm gonna look a little crazy, okay? Wow! Just, I don't see any heat damage, which is perfect. Oh my gosh, yes, no heat damage. But the shrinkage is crazy, you guys see that? Like, the heck? Okay. Ooh, okay, alright. I didn't bring my my spray water bottle with me because I know my mom has one somewhere. Uh, alright. I'm, I think I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna leave it in for a little longer, like, 15 minutes it says 7 to 10 but I think I'm gonna leave it in for like 15 minutes and then I'm gonna wash it out with conditioner I mean I don't think it's a big deal if I don't detangle it I'm not gonna detangle it too too much not even that hard to comb out to be honest right now it's not giving me a rough time so I'm still going to have to detangle when I condition it. So I'm not too worried about um, detangling right, right now. applying the mask and my uh, I don't know what time it is and my um, shower cap is put on I'm gonna leave it on for like 15 minutes and I'm gonna take it out then I'm gonna wash it off and then uh, condition it I ended up keeping it in for like another 15 minutes so a half an hour in total just by accident I'm gonna wash it out now we're in a different bathroom because my other camera um card's full and i don't think i have any more storage to like film anymore so we're gonna use my phone we're gonna use my phone so that's why i'm in a different bathroom um yeah i'm gonna wash out this deep this uh mask and then i'm gonna condition my hair with this ogx um coconut water conditioner and detangle my hair and wash that out yeah. All right, so finished washing out the hair mask and I conditioned my hair. I detangled my hair and now it's towel drying in my microfiber towel. Um, just to show you guys, this is all of the um, shedding from detangling my hair. That's it. Which is amazing. Just pretty darn good. At this point, I'm going to give it a few minutes and then I'm going to spray my um, detangler I love okay this this is my ride or die detangler this is the olive oil formula from Palmer's um, leave-in conditioner it's also a moisturizer detangler and it can be used as a heat protectant this stuff truly does wonders in my hair as a detangler and it's also leave-in conditioner so it's two in one i don't have like a creamy leave-in conditioner that i use i usually just use this um they kind of reformulated it i think or they rebranded the the um the uh packaging of it this one's almost out other than that one because i'm running out of that one i've also been using my cream of nature argan oil 
strength and strength and shine leave-in conditioner this one is just a leave-in conditioner it's not also used a detang as a detangler that's a little inconveniencing for me because i like a two-in-one sort of thing so yeah but i've been using as you can see like i use about maybe a little over a quarter or about a quarter of it it's okay but i definitely prefer my palmer's one so yeah at that point i'll probably just do like big chunky braids in my hair until my mom comes home so that she can really do my hair for me but that is basically the end of this hair vlog i hope you enjoyed watching this i know this is something different maybe i'll do more hair videos if you like this kind of video and you want me to do more hair videos please give it a big thumbs up if you like what you see and you would like to see more from me please do not be afraid to click that subscribe button down below i love making new friends and i'll see you guys in the next video I'm cool.